Hi friends, welcome to this training video. In this video, we want to teach you how to assemble and wire an industrial switchboard. This electrical panel includes four three-phase output and about 20 single-phase output. Various type of protection relays are used in this switchboard to increase the safety of the work. Please stay with me and like the video if you like it. For assembly, we first install the necessary devices inside the electrical panel. We use a single phase RCCB switch for both single phase outputs. The RCCB switch protects the circuit against current leakage and electrocution. In addition to the three RCCB switches, a three phase monitoring relay is used to control the output phase of the switch and send a warning signal if the switches are disconnected. For three phase outputs, we use a three phase RCCB switch and a three phase monitoring relay next to it to protect the outputs from two phases. For each single phase output, we use one miniature switch and connect both miniature switch to one RCCB switch. Therefore, we need 18 miniature switch for this RCCB switch. We use contactors to disconnect and connect the three phase outputs. Therefore, we need four contactors for four three phase outputs. For each three phase output, I use a current controller relay to calculate the output current and cut off the circuit if access current passes. In this part, we install a RCCB switch together with several miniature switches separately. Now we install the input and output terminals. These four terminals are for the input of three phases and neutral of the CT electricity to the switchboard.
These four terminals are for the three phase and neutral input of power support to the switchboard. And these four terminals are for three phase and neutral input of emergency power to the electrical panel. Now we install the three phase output terminals. Now we install the single phase output terminals. We consider a common neutral terminal for both single phase outputs. The installation of equipment is finished. Now we start the wiring. At first, we have connect the three phase power from the input terminals to the input of the two state selector switch and from their output to the input of all RCCB switches inside the electrical panel. Also, the neutral wire is connected to all terminals. Now we connect the phase wire from the output of the RCCB switch to the input of the miniature switch. In this part we do this. Now we connect the phase wire from the output of the miniature switch to the output terminals. And we connect the neutral terminal to the neutral output of the RCCB switch. In this part we do this. Now we connect three phases from the output of the three phase RCCB switch to the input of the contactors and connect the three phases from the output of the RCCB switch to the input of the three phase monitoring relay to control the phases. In this part we do this. In this section, we connect the three phases from the output of the contactors to the output terminals, but we connect them through the hole 
of the current controlling relay so that the current can be calculated and shown by them. In this part we do this. Now we connect the phase wire from the output of the miniature switch to the output terminals. In this part we do this. To disconnect and connect the single phase outputs, we have used a selector switch that are installed on the door of the electrical panel. We have connected the input of this switch to the output of the RCCB switch and their output to the input of the miniature switch. And to disconnect and connect the three phase outputs, we have used the selector switch that are installed on the door of the electrical panel. The input of this switch is connected to the output of the phase controller relay and their output to the input of the current controller relays and from their output we have connect coils of the contactor. The wiring is finished. If you like the video, please press the like and subscribe. And if you have any question, please ask in the comment section. Goodbye.